this video is kind of an asterisk. It is for these four pin push buttons, which is that came with your kits. They have these four legs that spread out um, on either side of the gap in the breadboard. I recommend using this gap and using these push buttons in this way. What this does is that the two pins here are always connected. So this entire row is now connected as one row. So the button will bridge the gap even when I'm not pressing the button. And similarly for this top row, um, what is not connected until you press the button is going from this pin to this pin. So this right now, each side of it has an LED going to a resistor going to ground. And I'm just using the Arduino port over here as a power source. So I can press the button and both LEDs light up because from the positive rail here, I'm going into this leg of the button and that's when the button gets pressed, it routes positive to both sides of the button on either side of the gap. So both LEDs will light up. I could switch this and bring this positive uh, connection to the power rail to the other side of the button and the same thing will happen. So these buttons will connect whole rows as long as you use them to bridge the gap. They will connect rows in this direction always and they will jump rows basically connecting them to each other when you press the button. So these buttons are pretty useful. They actually give you some other ways you can wire stuff out and I know there's a couple in the kit that you can make use of for various purposes.